Hi, this is Michael Adams for CEO Roast. I'm still at the PDEC 2017 in Toronto and it's raining actually today. And um, I have a brand new company, at least for us, yeah, for us from CEO Roast to Stock Telegraph, I have a brand new company which I've never did an interview before and that's Santa Cruz. And the reason is that you yeah, did send over some questions for me to ask the management. And so it's my pleasure yeah, that Arturo is joining me and um, yeah, we hopefully get some good answers. So Arturo, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. It's our first time, so I would like to start off with kind of a, the big picture. Yeah, like tell me what Santa Cruz is all about. Definitely, Michael. Thanks. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for having me, having me here with you, and it's a good space for me to clear up uh, some uh, questions uh, around the, our latest news. And um, yeah, starting with a brief description about the company, we're a silver producing company. We're focused in Mexico. Uh, we want to have a uh, to be a, at least uh, produced uh, in the range of four to five million ounces of silver equivalent in the, in the next two years. We have the assets to get there and, um, and, the, and these assets as, as we speak are ramping up nicely. Uh, I'll describe you in a moment. So um, we, we, be, we believe it, uh, we're in very well positioned to this, uh, hopefully these new um, markets uh, come back on, on, on the metal prices. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Um, just for the guys that are not familiar, um, you're trading on the T6 Venture and the symbol is? It's SCZ. Okay, perfect. Um, so let's, I guess, let's directly dig into the questions here yeah, because I will, uh, around this video, I will probably uh, link a couple of videos that Joe Brunner did in the past. Yeah, he did probably like five or six in the past. So I will, I will uh, link the, to these videos so that you can get the full picture on Santa Cruz. But my job is to ask the, the, the tough questions, right? So <laughs> let's just start off and I'm going to read them here from my email. So, um, and the, again, yeah, the first one, and you just briefly mentioned that the first one was about the, the recent news release where you sold a project um, to um, First Majestic, right? And I know that in the past, yeah, there was some connection to First Majestic in uh, the person of Keith Newmeyer. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's still uh, around, but um, yeah, give us some more background. Yeah, why did you sell the project and did you need to sell it uh, to, to pay for debt? Well, actually, there were uh, a couple of reasons, Michael, and uh, and let me start by saying that uh, the property uh, still needed to, I mean, we still need to make a payment about $19 million for the property, and the capex to build that mine was around $35 million, right? So overall, uh, it's above the $50 million, which uh, we believe uh, we have more efficient ways to put the money uh, to allocate uh, the resources right now, especially in Beta Grande. We're now in Zacatecas with a very strong project there with a blue sky potential. The more we learn about the property, the more excited uh, we get uh, and the more um, uh, we confirm that this could be a, a very significant, our, actually our flagship property in this, during this year, right? Uh, this project, uh, it's already in production. It's um, actually cash flow positive, uh, uh, Beta Grande. And, uh, and the, the capex to bring this property to 1,200 tons per day, it's significantly less. I mean, we, we can get there with less than $5 million. Okay. And at that point, the mine will be delivering you more than 2.5 million ounces of silver equivalent, right? So it makes no sense for us to keep pushing on, on building San Felipe when it was um, uh, the, t the tax price was uh, really high for us at the moment, and, and the capex uh, to build it was very... Uh, well, high as well, right? So, what we did, uh, we split the property in in two mines. Uh, we San Felipe has a, a, a satellite mine called El Gachi. Okay. So uh, we sell these mines as as a different assets. As you saw, as you will point out, we sold El Gachi to uh, First First Majestic, which is actually boundary with Santa Elena. Oh, okay. So I'm sure it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a great. Uh, project great acquisition for them and I'm sure they will develop that mine properly. So they, they just recently bought, not recently, but they bought Santa Elena from uh, from Silvercrest, Silver right? so that's I correct. That's another addition for them. So that's correct. Actually Keith is doing a good, good, a good job I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, no doubt, no doubt. Okay. <laughs> and we sold San Felipe to, uh, to America Silver. Mm -hmm. 
it's um, uh, they, they they are going to do a great job there. I'm sure they they are going to build a, a great mine because San Felipe, it's um, it has all merits to to be a good uh, a strong cash flow producer, right? And I think we I mean they, it's now in the right hands to to build it, and uh, I'm sure they will they will be build that as a very successful mine, and. Just giving you an idea, uh, I mean, uh, we sell the right to buy San Felipe because we, as you may recall, we still have $19 million to pay, dollars to pay. We sold that right for $7 million plus value-added tax, right, which is around a little bit more than $8 million overall, right? If you do the math, and, and with that we issue around 13 million shares, 13 million 450,000 shares. If you do the math, you will see that uh, it's it's is the equivalent of issuing those shares at one dollar four cents, right? Okay. So it was for us a good strategy, a good way to go. With that, we pay out our debt, uh, our uh, interest-bearing debt. We have uh, we only have one uh, note right now with zero interest, zero coupon. That um, that it's a uh, one and a half million dollars, okay. very manageable over two years almost. So the company is, from a balance sheet point of view, is in a very strong position now without uh, debt. Okay. So we just need to focus now in ramping up Beta Grande, take that mine uh, to, I mean, to to get the most out of that mine, and at the same time, uh, you will see, I mean, Rosario is ramping up uh, on Cinco Estrellas mine. Uh, that mine is a, it's a satellite mine from the main Rosario uh, vein. And, and actually uh, our plan uh, with some further news here but our plan will be uh, well I, I might be doing some forward looking statements so I'll be more careful but our plan is to take this mine to, to its full milling capacity which is 600 tons per day right at that time Rosario uh, should be producing around 2 million ounces so Rosario will be in record production during this year in addition to, to Beta Grande, right? So uh, we think that uh, that a very exciting uh, new story for Santa Cruz is uh, just beginning. Okay. And um, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I'm may very maybe happy. maybe let me try to summarize it. So um, you have Santa Cruz was in, in a let's say challenging financial situation. Um, you had various good projects, um, and in trying to solve this challenging financial situation you decided to focus yeah on some core assets and um, just sold the rest of it in favorable terms so yeah, to to enhance the financial situation on the of the company so that you can develop the other projects yeah and okay and that's that's a good uh, good resume uh, actually michael and uh, and let me point out that when would when we take this debt back then in 2014 the main idea or the idea of uh, of uh, getting this JMET facility was to build San Felipe right immediately after the markets turned uh, down and start um, I mean going into a very uh, bearish uh, momentum so we decided that it was not the best moment to build a mine right against that so that's why we end up with debt at the moment and the only mine we have which is Rosario at the time I mean, it was too much for Rosario to serve that debt, right? So we've been lucky to finalize and, 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 and get clear now with the uh, old debt. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's definitely um, a new story, a new beginning for the company, which in my opinion is coming stronger than it was before. Because we have two assets, two producing assets, with uh, one of them with a... Um, blue sky potential to keep uh, growing which is uh, beta grande in addition to that we still have a uh, gavilanes which uh, you may recall is a is a great uh, um, uh, asset with a with a significant uh, geological potential okay. and um, later um, as, as we keep building more cash flow we'll we'll start uh, doing some exploration there again okay. Okay, cool. And let's let's talk about the silver price. So, is that enough? Like the silver price right now, is that enough for you to create cash flow, or um, what would be a, a, a level for you where you feel comfortable? Well, uh, that's a good question, actually, Michael. And I think that um, our target this year, in, in 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 both in Rosario and in Beta Grande, is to be at all in sustained cash cost uh, below the fourteen dollars, right? Okay. That's so, having said that, I mean. 
yeah, we'll be more comfortable if uh, silver is above 20, right? <laughs> but definitely, <Awesome>. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely, we're not in a difficult position, uh, and uh, we just need to be disciplined and uh, and careful on how we allocate uh, the monies, so that they can create more, um, uh, let's say, more revenues, right? I mean, we can keep building and ramping up uh, the mines as as needed, right? And just to sum up, there was a rumor, um, especially in Germany, I'm not sure if it also was around in Canada, um, that there is uh, a possible takeover of Santa Cruz. So first, I'm not sure if you can comment on this. And second, if not, do you feel that Santa Cruz might be a takeover target for some other company or do you want to do it your own thing? Well, uh, Michael, that's an interesting question. I think, I mean, and I heard just that. Among us uh, yeah, no. <laughs> well, I heard, I heard that rumor, and I think it was uh, just that, just a rumor, right? And uh, uh, if I believe that the company is a target uh, for other companies, it's not for me to say it. Uh, the only thing that I can tell you is that we have great assets. The company's balance sheet is, I mean, we have a pretty much only one and a half million dollars in debt, so it's very manageable. And uh, the upside potential for the company to keep growing here is unlimited, right? I mean, just to give you... You know, just to give you a hint, a good indication of a possible takeover would be if you get calls from the big guys, if they try to visit your project. So, how about this? <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, you put me on a hot uh, spot right <laughs> that's there. What I'm, well, that's, what, well, that's my job. But I can tell you that we're always open to whatever uh, adds value to our shareholders okay. uh, and that, uh, that it's a win-win uh, situation, right? In, in it's a very, cool, very uh, political correct answer. <laughs> so thank you for now. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you.